Inside out, let's go. This is the story of a man who manages a state park. Good hit, good hit. Run, 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 run all the way through it. You ready? Come here, get on the bag. Todd Imboden is the manager. Well, Harry's just a coach. Throw it, throw it over here, Austin. Austin, over here. Coming at you, buddy. But that's not important. Woo! Go, 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 go! This is what's important. <laughs> Austin is the younger of his two sons. Go, 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 Austin, go! Yeah! Run, Austin! Run, Austin! Run, Austin! He's seven years old. Stay right there! That's Travis over there. For Todd... How about a state park? Life is a series of balancing acts between family. If you could unload them right there. And work. If you call it eight, then we'll take care of that. There are no easy answers for the Imbodens, but they are a team. Look here. Put them across. Bend your knees a little bit. And like any team, they sink or swim together. Don't step up. Just step out and swing. You don't have to step that knee up like that. Just step out and swing. OK. That a boy, run, run! If your pants weren't falling down, you'd be doing good. Pull your pants up. <laughs> if they jump in front of him, it's kind of hard. <laughs> Travis and Austin's home has always been in a state park. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! It's the only life they've ever known. When it's been in the air, it gets me really tired. Their community of Oteen, Texas, is a small one, less than 100 people, and it's somewhat isolated, about 10 miles from Gonzales. That was cool. So while there may not be any grocery stores no. close by, the kids and their friends have but lots him. of things to do. But he, he didn't lose any legs or arms. Palmetto State Park is another area of distinctive interest being open for popular enjoyment. Hardwood, heavily draped in Spanish moss, and a wealth of semi-tropical vegetation make it a bower of beauty for the layman and a treasure trove for the scientist. Palmetto was constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The stone buildings they erected are still in use today. It's almost like a little lost treasure out there. There's swamps in central Texas. Nobody knows this stuff. The lush vegetation that's here is just out of the ordinary for central Texas. They're like mostly catfish. Yeah, we're getting some perch too. But while others get to enjoy the scenery and beauty of the park, Todd gets to spend his days here. Okay. Doing this. We have every kind of bill. We have electric bills, we have water bills, dumpsters that need to be picked up, fuel, lots of, lots of gas. Then he has to factor in expenses and other costs most folks don't even think about. Perfect example of this is um, consumable uh, supplies, which would be like um, toilet paper. The average Joe doesn't think about how much toilet paper the park uses every, but we use a lot of it. Running a state park is sort of like running a small city. Todd has to deal with large infrastructure issues like maintaining water systems, roads, and electric grids. There are also the day-to-day -day chores like restrooms to clean, campsites to get ready, and constant barrage of fires to put out. And, uh, come on in. You got a minute? Yeah, what you want? Can you step out here for me? <laughs> is it bad? So, with photos of Travis, Austin, and his wife, Annalisa, surrounding him, Todd must also perform another balancing act. There's my operating budget. That's it. That's all I got to work with for the whole year. One perk of being a park manager is that everyone thinks you're cool, and you get invited to speak at functions and stuff. We have Mr. Imboden, who's the superintendent of the Palmetto State Park here in Gonzales. In bureaucratic speak, this is called outreach. Austin, will you stand up? This is Austin's dad. 
Good afternoon, guys. How are y'all doing? I was 20 years old. I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go. A friend of mine, he told me he could get me a job, and I thought, all right, I'm going to go get me a job at Parks and Wildlife. I showed up that day, and they gave me a janitor's cart to clean the bathrooms. From these humble beginnings, Todd's first state park assignment was at Bastrop, followed by stints at San Angelo and Sea Rim. Now, as the park manager at Palmetto, <laughs> y'all come on in. He's plugged in to the second grade speaker circuit. My name is Todd and Bowden. I'm the park manager at Palmetto State Park. Some of you guys might know me as Coach, and then some of you guys might know me as Dad. I'm just one of you, right? <laughs> this turtle right here is the one we're going to primarily talk about because this one is one that's in a little bit of trouble. This is a Kemp's Ridley shell. A long time ago when this little boy was just being born, this particular turtle got caught in shrimp nets. That's a big turtle, isn't it? See how big his head is? It's almost as big as yours. <laughs> Y'all need to line up quietly, please. Don't. <laughs> Here comes Mr. Bradley, look. There's no guarantee the Embodens will stay here in Palmetto. From the shot! As Todd moves up in his career at Parks and Wildlife, and... the family might eventually have to leave the life they've made in Central Texas. Well, that one is. But no matter where they end up, Austin and Travis can take comfort that when their dad goes to the office in the morning, He'll be working just a few blocks away. Is Dad home? Uh, he's right out there. Get ready. Go, 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 Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I can beat a baby five hundred miles. Well, you sure can. You are fast, dude. Okay. 